Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is Creepy Ways FM presenting Train Depart, a Fears the Fathom type of game where we're going to be playing as a 16-year-old on his first solo journey as he takes a train to meet his family. So, let's begin. June 25th. Oh, I completely missed that first part. This story, it's not something I tell often. Honestly, I wasn't even sure I would. It was during one of those hot, stifling summers. The kind where the air feels heavy and time seems to slow down. I was 16, and for the first time I was traveling alone. My parents had gone ahead to our family gathering by plane. Me? I was taking the train to meet them. You know, there's something about being alone on a journey that makes you feel more grown up than you are. I had my backpack, my phone, and laptop. Felt like an adventure waiting to happen. When the train started moving, I felt a mix of excitement and a little bit of worry. But I had no idea what was really ahead. I thought it was just going to be a straightforward ride. Um, so I've got a question already. If my family has taken the plane, why am I taking the train? Am I, am I scared of trains or something? Is that... Is that what's uh, going on? Text messages. Right, how do I get the... Ah, okay. Wow. Have I got three phones here? What's going on? We're heading to the airport now. Flight's at 11.30. And then the number of the flight. Our ticket numbers. Got it. Your sister is excited to see you. Bought you a lot of presents from the trip. Tell Lenka I've got surprises for her too. Your father mentioned you haven't been answering. Sorry, was busy packing. I'll call him in a moment. We're flying off. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Mum, you'll be fine. Enjoy the flight. So he doesn't seem to have a problem with flying. He's like, yeah, you'll be fine, mum. All right, you'll be fine. So why am I tra taking the train? If you're worried about planes, does that mean we should worry too? Right, okay. I'll call you when we land. Or lend, even. Um, I'm actually scared of plane. I only get scared on planes I'm actually on. Right. So he does have a fear of flying. That's why he's taking the train. Okay, we've landed. Did you pack everything? Great to hear. And yeah, almost unpacking. Still in progress. I'll call you this evening. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Sort of. Can't wait for the trip. Left your favorite snacks. Don't forget them. Got them, thanks. Call me when you're on the train, okay? And remember, no junk food. I know, I know. I'll call once I'm settled. Can't wait to see you. Me too. Um, your seat number is 36. Please take your designated seat. And then we got Dad here. Morning. Everything in order for your trip? Just finish up packing. Remember, son, organization is key. and Keep your phone charged. Charge is packed, and I have a power bank. Good. On the train, stay alert, especially with your belongings. I understand. Keeping my luggage close. Also, a bit of reading wouldn't hurt. Balance out the screen time. I packed a few books. Glad to hear it. Stay sharp. Call us when you're bored. No delays. I will straight after find my seat. All right. And then we've got the thing here. So, okay. Right. We're ready to go. We have a fear of trains. Uh, of planes, even. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Am I right? And, uh, yeah. Let the adventure begin. guess I got my backpack here. I wasn't planning to go there for now. Okay. Doors are told it was locked from the inside. Okay. So here we are. Oh, that's a bit of a creepy sideways glance. Uh, 36 I'm looking for. This is in the 90s. These are the very high 90s. And listen, you wouldn't go talking to people when you just got on board the train. So, um, excuse me, sir. Hello. What? May I please get past to my seat? Sorry, is the th in there, do you know where I can find a toilet? Um, can I get past? Oh, absolutely, your highness. All right, I need to be a fucking dick about it. I mean, you could just put your. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just stand out the way until you're done. Yes, you will. Okay, we've got fifty-one here. Ah, 36. You know what, you old codger? I'm just going to let you stand there for a bit, you know? Yeah, you big goddamn trunk. No need to be a dick. Um, before sitting in my seat, I should have stowed my backpack away. Yes, let's do that. Put it up there, and we have a little sit down. So you can get past now, all right? A little common courtesy.
Have you left already? How's your seat? Everything okay? Yeah, we're on our way now. Found my seat all right. But you know, some people here could be nicer. I'll text once more with Farrell along. Just set up my laptop for the journey. Okay, my laptop must have been in the backpack. So let's get up. Let's take in our surroundings, shall we? Before we get to our backpack. I wasn't planning on going there for now. All right. I mean, on a normal, typical British train, even if you're 16, you wouldn't go around talking to people. But this is the game. Why would someone make three pages long booklet? Yes. I don't know. How about you, sir? Can I talk to you? You're just going to give me that blank-eyed stare. Um, these two seem to be playing a game, some sort of patty cake, patty cake game even. I always pack a little extra when traveling with these two. Okay. We're planning a little treasure hunt when we reach the city. Kids love exploring new places. Are these your kids? Are these really your kids? Can I talk to... Mom packed my favorite snacks! Okay. Right. I'm getting a laptop out of the bag. We're not going to talk to all these idiots, all these losers on the train. We've got some snacks. Can I eat the snacks? No. Towels, books, and my laptop. That's what we wanted. The, the Dig Dig laptop. That famous Dig Dig laptop. Okay. Oh. Nice little bit of interactivity here. Yeah, I am getting that kind of Fears to Fathom vibe as well, so that's always good. Right, let's, um... It was 12.05 a.m.? Okay. Ah, uh, Vaclav? Who the hell is Vaclav? Right, let's check the text messages first. Um, who is Vaclav? Yo, finished the history project yet? Almost. Need to add some pictures. Cool, cool. I'm barely halfway through. Just don't use AI-generated ones. LOL, sure thing. Actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I heard they do it in some schools. Yeah, check the link later. Man, you online? Arm Wrestlers 2? Sorry man, train Wi-Fi. Just needed to log in. Want to play the clicker before we arrive. The clicker, eh? Well, let's use the laptop then. Oh, right. Is this some kind of idle clicker game? Yes. That's what it appears to be. I mean... I don't mind an idle clicker game. Oh, we've got the train. <laughs> okay, wait there. Sorry, what can I get you? Poisson plate and lemon soda, a burger with fries and mint soda, and Japanese style cake and strawberry soda. Um, I mean, it is like uh, uh, it's meant to be afternoon, so croissant's more of a breakfast thingy. Burger with fries. Dad said to kind of go he light on the um, the old, you know, snackies. Japanese style cake and strawberry soda. Mint soda anyway. Like, yeah. Mint soda. No. It's like vanilla vanilla Coke. That's Let's go with Japanese style cake and strawberry soda. I'm afraid we don't have any soda. I can get you some uh, water with the meal. Yeah, whatever. I'll bring your order a little bit later. It's not in the cart now. It's not in the trolley. What's the point of you walking down the trolley if you don't have it? The train was quite modern, and it was strange that they had only water today. But you know, such things happen with trains. Yeah. I'm gonna play it. I was thinking about going to the toilet before my meal is ready. Alright. Let's do that then. Where was the toilet? Oh, she's over there. The toilet's gotta be back this way, huh? Let's talk to a few of these people then. I have a few good friends. We like the same games. Mm. We're off to buy him new school supplies. He grows up so fast. It's a full-time job, being a mum and dad both. Oh, no. Well, maybe that's a bit TMI, you know? I don't know your life story. I'm just a kid on a train, and I just was walking past, and I just thought, how do you do? Bit of a wave of your hand. I don't need to know that you're a single mother, and there's twerps, you know, like in Fortnite or something. I don't know. All right, how about you? You're the old geezer, right? What now? You don't see I'm busy here? Yeah, busy looking straight ahead. You've got a creepy smile. It's surprising what you can learn about people, even in a brief encounter. Hmm. All right, we're, we're thinking about going to the toilet. Oh, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool bag here, but let's go to the toilet first. I've been prompted twice to now, so... There was a strange bag in the toilet. Uh-oh. 
See it, say it, saw it, you know? It was strange that someone left the bag full of a uniform in a toilet. There could be, there's some grammar uh, issues here, but that's fine. Right, so someone's dressing up as one of the train stewards. Is that right? Don't like that. Am I centering, why am I centering in on the soap? Okay. All right, well. Time to drain the old lizard. My food could be back at any time, so I return to my seat without second thoughts. Am I not going to report this? Am I not reporting the fact that someone has left a spare uniform on board? And now I don't trust the lady with the cart. Maybe I should tell her. Hello? Um, I think someone's trying to... No. No. Okay, I guess I'll just sit down. And wait for my meal to come. Oh, we got some text messages from mum. Oh, I've taken a snapshot. Sorry, couldn't resist. Looks great. It's okay. In these trains, they make better quality food. Is it tasty? I mean, I haven't even tasted it yet. Why, why is she asking me if it's tasty yet? She can see the whole thing there in the picture. Shame they had no soda. Good. Hmm. Nothing from dad? No. Okay. Um, there we go. Hey. I'm sorry. Are you the gentleman wanted the soda? We have found a pack in our storage. Enjoy, please. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. You're the guy. You're the guy, aren't you? You're the guy. I'm not drinking that soda. That soda's probably drugged. I think I need to make a complaint here. I need to push the old, um... Is there no one on board this train? I'm gonna have to drink the, the drug soda, aren't I? I mean, he brings it out. Can I go this way? Can I report this? No, I cannot do that. Can I tell someone? Hey. Hey. Listen, right? This is gonna sound like a really crazy story. I just went to the toilet. There was a uniform in there. The guy that came past, he gave me an open bottle of Coke. I know, right? Right, okay. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, let's drink it. I was so thirsty that I drank all the soda in a single gulp. It was warm and had this strange taste. But I was happy, and hoped it wasn't lying there for years. No, your man is uh, an imposter. But why is he trying to drug us on the train? That is the question. Um, after the meal, I wanted to spend some time on the walk, or I could just play on the laptop. Can I not... Can, let's talk to the grouchy old man. No, he's not. He's not saying anything. Can I tell someone about this, please? Hey. I'm a bit worried about the border control. They always seem so strict. Mm-hmm. I might have promised my daughter a little too much. Can't say no to that face. Want this derpy derpy face? Daddy promised me to buy a puppy when we get home. I'll have the best father in the world! Yeah, you say that until you turn into a teenager. And we'll see how fast that opinion changes. Um, one moment to go back to the toilet? Hang on. Oh, I thought there was something on the floor there. Well, the bag's gone. So the guy is clearly an imposter, right? My food could be back. All oh, right, I think that's uh, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing we're just having to play on the uh, the laptop then for the moment. Maybe wait for someone in authority. Come back. Get some. Uh, the drugs are worried. Yeah, I'm getting drowsy.
Oh dear. This does not seem like it's going well. Suddenly, I felt a strong drowsiness. Hmm. To be honest, I always had one after a good meal. That one was more persistent. Mm hmm. And it was as if I could not resist it at all. Oh no. You're not going to fiddle me, are you? Wow. So we've been asleep for four hours? Well, that's not good. I was asleep for a long, for a long, and this man in my dream. We must have already reached the border station. I need to take a little walk and get some fresh air in the lobby. The longer this train takes, the more it wears me down. So a lot of people have gotten off now. Guys. I always tell my boy, you've got to be strong in this world, but he's more the gentle type. Mom says there are people who transfer illegal stuff in those trains. It's like something from a movie, right? Kind of cool. Oh, uh, I think I know what's happening. My dude. No, he's still being a stubborn old git. What? They all left and left her bag? I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I think it's time for me to leave. Where's my bag? Hmm. Maybe I'm meant to go in the toilet again. So we've stopped at border control. What about these two lovely old people here? Ah, train rides. They remind me of simpler times. I enjoy observing people on the train. You can see all sorts. Just last year, I saw someone who looked like they were up to no good. Well, have you seen the guy who drugged me? Miss Marple and Aunt Bertha, eh? You old crones, just talk amongst yourselves. Well, the bag's gone. I guess we're taking another leak. It has been four hours. Yeah, I definitely think that's a bit of a glitch with the writing there. My food could come back. Um... Hmm, okay. Not entirely sure where I'm meant to be going now. Can I leave? I mean, we have stopped. Oh. I take it this is like the border control. <laughs> I take it this is the border control. ID and ticket, please. Travelling alone? Yes, my parents are waiting for me at the destination. Hmm. Luggage contents? Any prohibited items? Just my clothes, some books, and snacks. Huh. Always ready, son. Yes, additional search isn't necessary. I know, my parents told me to. Alright, move along. Wow, that was a very thorough search. Border control officer seemed to be quite tense, but finally decided to leave me alone. And I guess we're off again. The train started leaving to the last station just after he left. Am I being used as a mule? Did the guy... Did the guy put some cocaine up my ass? Is that what's happening here? Would you like to order anything else? Just one more soda, please. Sorry, I told you before. We have no soda, unfortunately. We had an unexpected shipment delay. But your colleague said you found the last pack. Second steward? Sorry, I work alone on today's shift. Do you feel okay? You don't look well. I'm fine, I, I guess. You're probably tired. We'll arrive soon. Please call me if you need anything. Hmm. Yeah, so we called it. The guy, that man was in my dreams. Was looking for something in my baggage. Was he? We got snacks, we got our towels, uh oh. A suspicious strange bag. For some reason, I thought it would be better to check what's inside the toilet where no one would see me. I think you'd be right. Because either we've got like a severed head in here, or we have a lot of drugs. Is what I'm thinking. Oh yeah. 
It's the old chop chop. I wasn't sure, but this thing looked like drugs they show in movies. I mean, I'm 16, but come on. Yeah. Wow, I've got a block of cocaine. Am I throwing it down the toilet? I think I just threw it down the toilet. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. For some reason, I didn't come up with nothing better than the flush it. I could have made so much money with that cocaine. Oh man, I could have sold that street value. Oh man, and now the guy's got, oh man. I think I'm just gonna wait in the toilet until we read the, I, I, I thought I was gonna take a leak again, not throw the goddamn stuff down the toilet. I am such a loser. I could have taken that for myself. I could have been a made man. Ah, oh. right, I guess we're going to the... Hi there, little boy. What did you do with my little present? What did I, uh, sorry? Yeah, the present. I'm traveling with it to my old friend. Did you tell something to the police about it? Uh, no, 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 I wouldn't. Now listen to me very carefully. If you want to be safe, you're coming with me and sit on your seat until the last station. And remember, last thing, you do something funny and it'll end up badly for you and your papa and mama. Come on, go forward. Uh, I can't seem to go forward. It was locked. I'm just going to back up into the toilet here. Can I lock this? Oh, he's already... Open it now! Or you know what will be... What will be after? Okay, I guess that means you know what happened. He was able to break this door. Well, that's not good. Can I use... Mm -hmm. Ah! Ha 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 ha! I said open it! I just need what's in the bag! I flushed it. You did what? I will bury you under live this train! Open the goddamn door now, I said! Uh oh. Oh, I guess I'm smashing the window. Can I jump out? I mean, what I would have done normally is I would have jumped out with the cocaine. This is train board services. Are you okay? We had an emergency call from this toilet. Please open the door. I'm not opening. Um. Okay. A few years have passed since the incident. My parents had many meetings with the police, but in the end, everything turned out alright. Our family was provided with protection, and even received a certificate from the city. And little by little, memories of that event have faded. I don't know, I mean I think I remember, but since that day, I have started travelling by plane. It only took, um, being used as a drug mule to get over my fear of flying, I guess. Well, there you go, guys. That was trained upon. I guess the moral of the story is if you find a block of cocaine on a train, don't flush it down the toilet. Hide it down your pants and then sell it later on to become very, very rich. Um, yeah, no, that was... I enjoyed that, to be honest with you. There was the uh, fears to fathom sensibility about the whole thing. Um, the, the, the drug mule uh, being drugged. Never accept, never accept open cans of soda from strangers. There are, there are lots of morals to the story that you can take away with you, I think, um, with Train Depart. And uh, yeah, well, looking forward to the next one. Anyway, uh, tell me what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub because uh, daddy needs that block of cocaine. So um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.